Two years ago, the royalty fees to climb K2 had increased for the first time in 20 years. During 2024, K2 climbing permits were granted collectively to groups of seven climbers at $12,000. Each additional climber cost an extra $3,000. For 2025, Gilgit Baltistan authorities have got rid of the collective fee and established an individual royalty of $5,000 per climber. That's nearly a 200% increase. The price is still ridiculous compared to Everest, where the ticket to the summit now costs $15,000 per person. Likewise, the fee required for the country's other 8,000ers, Broad Peak, Gasherbrum Bair, Gasherbrum II, and Nanga Parbat, will increase too. In 2025, it will change from a collective fee to an individual fee of $4,000. In the photo, you can see the royalties for each mountain. Interestingly, the trekking fee is valid for climbers aiming for any peak below 6,500 meters, from unclimbed snowy mountains to rock spires such as the Trango Towers. Pakistan still offers a world of low-cost possibilities for mountaineers ready to turn their attention away from the highest peaks. According to the document, the trekking fee will be $300 next year, six times the 2024 rate. But not everyone agrees with this price increase. This year, the number of climbers in Pakistan dropped, and it will definitely be less next year if the new prices are confirmed, Mingma G. Sherpa, owner of Imagine Nepal, posted on social media. We have our reservations for next year, but it could be our last season in Pakistan. What do you think? Is the K2 expensive enough or should it be more? Write it in the comments.